Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the San Diego Padres franchise mode here on the channel. Let's get right into simming. We are now in August. We lose a 1-0 game to the Phils. Then the series finale, we do win 5-4. Now we got to play those Dodgers who are 90-25. and 25. Yep. Somehow we beat them 14-2. I don't know. And then back to reality on Wednesday, we lose 3-12. to 12. Then we get this Rockies series. Uh, doing all right. Here we go. We do get the walk-off winner there. So we win that series. We are sitting at about 57 wins right now. But we are nine games back. So it's pretty tough at this point to make the playoffs but we'll try here get this series against the indians are going to win this first one the second one 3-3 three, three game we're going to drop it 3-4 so let's get into the series with the nationals we're going to play the first game of this series they are 70 and 51 leading the nl east at the moment we are 50 and 63 third place in the nl west trying to go for a wild card it's going to be pretty tough though to get there while i'm at it hit that subscribe button down below for more lb between the show content with our san diego padres as we get into this game in Washington DC in the nation's capital to take on the defending World Series champions and by the way World Series champion Brian Dozier is returning home to the team he won the World Series with on the bump today for the Washington Nationals will be their big lefty the former Arizona Diamondback last offseason's big free agency signing this year record of 9-5 for Patrick Corbin ERA of 2.87 trying to continue his momentum on from the end of the World Series where of course he pitched really well against the Houston Astros trying to move that into this season and forward to the playoffs because the Nationals probably will be there starting us off is Fernando Tatis and Tatis is going to stare at that inside slider yeah nothing you can do about that Corbin's painting that corner early now Brian Reynolds the two-hole hitter batting 300 for us Reynolds going to put that right to first base and that'll be fielded by Mr. National Ryan Zimmerman and real quick, here is the lineup for the San Diego Padres. You got Tatis, Reynolds, Fam, Machado, the 1, 2, 3, 4, as usual. Josh Naylor at 5, Francisco Mejia at 6, Hosmer at 7, and World Series champion Brian Dozier at 8. Tommy Pham batting third for the Nationals. Going to rip that right to his dribble Cabrera at third. Off of Cabrera's glove, he's going to throw it to first, and Tommy Pham will get in there with a two-out single. Just in time for Manny Machado on the 3-2. Machado, ah, just going to pop the one right in the air. Corbin working that inside fastball early. Nationals will get out of the inning with nothing on the board. On the bump for the San Diego Padres is Garrett Richards, 6-11 on the season so far, 4.8 ERA, probably doing the worst, the worst out of the five guys currently in the rotation. Mackenzie Gore, obviously our new prospect, is doing really well for us along with the ace of the rotation, Chris Paddock. So let's get this one going. The speedster Trey Turner digging into the plate, the shortstop for the Nationals. Going to pop the one right into right field. That will be tracked down by Tommy Pham. Fam will make the play to start off this ball game in DC. Now up to the play is Stalin Castro, the new free agency signing for the Nationals. Going to play some second and short for them this year. He's going to hit that one to deep center. Brian Reynolds is there to make the play, though. Two outs in the first early for Garrett Richards. Now digging in the box for the Nationals is the 20-year-old superstar Juan Soto. Soto going to blast one into deep right field. Will it go fair or foul? Nothing Fam can do about it. It's a fair ball. Juan Soto gonna go yard to start this one off against Garrett Richards gonna give the Nationals an early one nothing lead now Eric Thames the right fielder for the Nationals the big left power hitting bat is gonna go yard on back to back for the Nationals it's not four home runs but it's giving the Padres early vibes of last season where the Nationals went back to back to back to back on him so now Kurt Suzuki digging into the plate on the 3-2. Suzuki going to swing at that low pitch by Richards, but Tommy Pham will be there to make the play. Not before, though. The Nationals get on the board with two straight home runs from their big lefty bats, Juan Soto and Eric Thames. Now in the box for the Padres is Francisco Mejia. Mejia going to hit that one right to his dribble Cabrera at third. He's going to dive for that, and Cabrera will not make the play. As dribble having a very bad day so far at the hot corner. Now up for the Nationals is Eric Hosmer. Hosmer! Gonna dribble that one right in between the first and second baseman. Hosmer will get on. Now we got runners at first and second with one out just in time for World Series champion Brian Dozier. And Dozier gonna put that one right into right field. Eric Thames should be there to make the play. Francisco Mejia is gonna tag from second to third. He will get there. So now we got runners at the corners for our pitcher Garrett Richards. Let's see what Richards can do here with runners on a 3-1. Corbin gonna deal. Richards is gonna take that inside fastball and that will be a walk. Patrick Corbin has just walked our pitcher to get to our all-star, the one and only Fernando Tatis Jr. So on the 1-2, Tatis going to put that one right over his dribble's head into left field. We're going to round third with Hosmer. Hosmer is going to go to the plate. He's going to score. 
Just like that, the Padres have tied this one up at two apiece thanks to Fernando Tatis' big two RBI single. Now at the plate is Brian Reynolds and Reynolds just going to pop the one right back up to Kurt Suzuki behind the plate. But the Padres do tie this one up, get back on the board. It is a 2-2 ball game. Now on the bottom of the second on 3-2, Ryan Zimmerman with the runner on first. Zimmerman is going to take the walk. Now the Nats got runners on first and second with no outs. Michael A. Taylor at the plate. Taylor is going to look at that strike right down the middle. All right, he's confused about the call. So after a sacrifice bunt by Patrick Corbin, Garrett Richards going to get Trey Turner to swing and miss on that outside pitch. Richards working out of a little bit of trouble here. No matter what, it is still a 2-2 two -two game as we get this instant replay of Richards striking out the Nationals leadoff man with that outside slider. All right, Francisco Mejia back up at the plate on a 3-2 in the top of the fourth. Mejia, ooh, close call on that one, but it does go our way. Francisco Mejia is going to take the walk at first, and Davey Martinez is not happy at all. All right, runners on first four. World Series champion Brian Dozier on the 3-2. Dozier, oh, going to line it right to Trey Turner at short. Turner is going to pick that one. So now we got two outs in the inning just in time for our pitcher, Garrett Richards. Richards just going to look at that slider right up the gut. Yeah, nothing we can ask for much in that situation but for him to take because he got the walk his last step at. Now on the bottom of the fourth, Ryan Zimmerman up at the plate. Zimmerman going to reach outside for that pitch. Richards is going to have the one easy going into the fifth now. Still 2-2. Two to two. But honestly, Garrett Richards doing okay right now. Fernando Tatis going to leave this one off for the Padres. Tatis going to hit the one right up the middle. Fernando Tatis going to get us started in the top of the fifth with a lead off single. Tatis is having a really good season for us. As you can see right here, the hits leaders for the Padres. 137 for Tatis, 127 for Reynolds, and 116 for Tommy Pham. On the 3-2 now, for Brian Reynolds with Tatis at first. Reynolds going to hit that one right into left field, but Juan Soto is there to make the play. Tatis going to have to stay at first for now. But this will lead in the former Tampa Bay Ray, Tommy Pham, into the play at the three hole. Pham on the 1-1. One, one. Corbin's going to deal him. Tatis is going to take off, but Pham going to line that one to left field. That will be over Juan Soto's head. Tatis is going to get to third early. They are going to hold Tatis there. Pham will get on with a double. Here we go. They intentionally walk Manny Machado for Josh Naylor. And Naylor going to strike out in the lefty-lefty matchup. All right, two outs now for Francisco Mejia. He's been clutch all year for us. Mejia with the dribbler up the middle. Mejia is going to get a single. And Tommy Pham will also score. Manny Machado going to get to third as well. Francisco Mejia with the two RBI single to give us the lead at four to two. Now Eric Hosmer at the plate. Hosmer going to get one. Going to get a hold of it. Going to center field. Michael A. Taylor is there to make the play though. But the Padres do give themselves the lead here with a four to two ball game. Now Michael A. Taylor at the plate for the Nats. Taylor going to dribble on right to Manny Machado. It's past Machado. Tatis going to try to make a play. Oh, Eric Cosmer can't get a hold of it. They will give Michael A. Taylor the hit for that one. Now, pinch hitting for Patrick Corbin is Victor Robles. Robles going to put that one to left field. So, Michael A. Taylor and Robles at first and second. A lot of speed on the bases now for the Nationals. And they'll put the leadoff hitter on the plate for the Nationals. One of the fastest guys in the league. He's going to dribble that one to Tatis. Tatis can't get anything at second and first. Infield singles are key right now for the Nationals. Bases loaded. First on Castro. Castro can hit that one right to Tatis. Tatis is going to go home with it. He's got the out. All right, one out in the bottom of the fifth, but the bases are still loaded for Juan Soto. Soto going to get a hold of that breaking pitch. Soto going to put that one into deep left field. Nothing we can do about it. Naylor going to get it off the fence. Two guys are going to come in to score. It's a tie ball game just like that, thanks to Juan Soto's big double. Now, Kurt Suzuki at the plate. Suzuki. Going to drive that one right past Garrett Richards. And now the throw home from Reynolds. He's in there. Juan Soto gets under the tag. And now the Nats are up 6-4 to four just after the Padres get a couple in. The Nationals get four. Coming in the game now for the Padres is Hector Neres. Neres doing well in the season. 1.47 ERA. Going to drop his glove because that's Padres baseball. The switch hitting infielder as Drupal Cabrera will step up to the plate. And Neres will get the strikeout on the splitter low. Two outs now in the inning. Stepping up is Mr. National Ryan Zimmerman. And Zimmerman just going to get that one right past Neres and Tatis. They're going to wave that man in from second all the way home. And he's in there. The Nationals going to take a 7-4 to four lead thanks to Ryan Zimmerman's little single. Now Michael Taylor back up to the plate. Neres is going to strike him out. Mejia going to throw that one down to first. But the Nationals do get a big five spot in the bottom of the fifth. Ryan Harper now pitching 
for the Nats. Brian Dozier going to get a hold of one. That's going to hop right off the fence. Dozier rounding first and getting into second easy. Brian Dozier starting us well here in the top of the sixth for his 15th double of the season. Here comes the top of the order. Fernando Tatis on a 3-2. Tatis going to draw that walk. No. That's a strikeout. Oh, my goodness. Brian Reynolds now up to the plate. Reynolds just going to hit that one right to second. And there goes that rally by the Padres. Dozier starting us off with the double. Nothing going to come out of it. Jose Castillo now going to take the mound for the Padres. The lefty going to pitch to Stalin Castro here with two outs. Castro just going to hit that one right to Manny Machado. Machado should have it and going to get the out. All right. Padres get out of the inning thanks to Jose Castillo's 1-2-3 easy one. Now Josh Naylor going to step up in the plate with two outs in the top of the seventh. Hunter Strickland on the bump. Strickland going to get Naylor to ground out right to second base. Castro going to muffle it, but going to get the out still to Ryan Zimmerman. Padres getting nothing going here. Jose Castillo still out the mound. Pitching to Juan Soto. Soto going to hit that one right to World Series champion Brian Dozier. And World Series champion Brian Dozier is going to get Juan Soto out pretty easily. Now up to the plate for the Nats is their other big lefty, Eric Thames. Thames going to hit that one into left field. A little bit against the shift, but we should be there to make the play. Josh Naylor is there, and he will get the out. Two outs now in the bottom of the seventh. Big for Castillo to set down Juan Soto and Eric Thames. Two big lefties back to back. Now Kurt Suzuki, the righty catcher for the Nationals. Going to look at that low fastball. Kurt Suzuki's going to strike out. Give Jose Castillo another one. Eric Hosmer at the plate. Just going to get fooled with that pitch. Like, nothing else to say about it. Wonder Suero just going to fool Eric Cosmer on that one. Brian Dozier at the plate on a 1-2. Dozier just going to softly tap the 1-2 as Drupal Cabrera at third. Cabrera going to throw World Series champion Brian Dozier out pretty quickly. Going into the bottom of the eighth, pitching for the Padres is going to be Emilio Pagan. 2.16 ERA for him. 18 holds in the year for the setup, man. Obviously, this is not a setup situation because we are not in the lead. Ryan Zimmerman up to the plate. Zimmerman just going to hit that one to Machado. Machado going to have a little bit of time because Zimmerman isn't the fastest. He's going to get him out with two outs in the bottom of the eighth. Now, Michael A. Taylor up to the plate. Taylor going to swing and miss. Going to strike out one more time. Emilio Pagan going to get out of this inning. One, two, three. But the bats have got to warm up for the Padres and against Sean Doolittle, the closer for the Nationals. 3.48 ERA, eight saves on the year for Sean Doolittle. On the 3-2 to Luis Campsuzano, the backup catcher. The prospect is just going to look at that one and strike out. Fernando Tatis up to play on the 2-2. Tatis is going to strike on the splitter. Sean Dula got all of his stuff working so far. Now down last strike for the Padres. Brian Reynolds going to hit that one right into right field on the guest pitch. But Eric Thames is there to make the play. And that will do it here in Washington, D.C. Patrick Corbin will get the win for the Nationals, even though he didn't do that well today. But Gary Richards didn't either. This was a slugfest. Both offenses working well. And hey, there's Will Myers, the former Padre in the game as a defensive substitution playing center for the Washington Nationals wish him all the best in the rest of the season for him but Davey Martinez and his crew will get the dub looking forward to the playoffs for their team for us this will put us at what 10 games back of the wild card it's going to be really tough to get there we'll do a couple more videos with this season then we'll head into the offseason but yeah we're just looking to develop here towards the latter stretch of the season folks thank y'all for watching hit that subscribe button down below for more Padres content we'll get you guys another one tomorrow and of course Mamba forever